As young adults, we all believe we have the ability to escape the perils of death. But death knows no age, nor does it recognize your status in society. 9% of college students smoke. 18% of US college students smoke daily. And 31% of young adults who are of college age that, but do not attend college smoke. Smoking is the number one cause of preventable death in America. Tobacco executives will say things like, smoking does not lead to heart disease, lung cancer, pneumonia, and etc." They'll say things like, tobacco does not lead to cancer, unhappiness does, but they are wrong. I know what it's like to lose someone to a smoke-related death, and I wish someone would have told my dad about the thousands of chemicals, hundreds of ingredients he, he was inhaling with every cigarette he smoked, and the potential results he would face as a result of all of that. Most people smoke cigarettes because they are stress relievers, but they do so just without knowing just what each cigarette contains. One cigarette contains over 599 ingredients, 4,000 chemicals. I will just list a few for you. Fungicides and pesticides, which have been linked to birth defects and cancer, can be found in a cigarette. Cadmium, which is what is found in a car battery, that is found in a cigarette as well. Formaldehyde, I'm sure you've all heard of this. This is what we use to preserve dead bodies and what we soak dead frogs in just before we dissect them. You can also find that in a cigarette. Carbon monoxide, which is what we're blaming for burning a hole in our ozone layer, that's found in a cigarette too. Urea is a chemical that is found in human sweat and pee. That is found in a cigarette as well. Methanol, which is found in antifreeze. Antifreeze is what we put in our cars. That's found in a cigarette as well. Acidic acid. That's a chemical that is put in floor wipes so we can clean our floors. That's been found in a cigarette too. Acetone. Ladies, you've all heard of this. This is what we use when we want to remove the color off our fingernails when we don't like it anymore. That's in a cigarette too. Arsenic. This is rat poison. That is also found in a cigarette. Ammonia. That is a bathroom cleaner. You can find that in a cigarette as well. Hearing all of this, and hearing that there are over 599 ingredients, 4,000 chemicals, 400 toxigen, toxins, and four, 43 of which are known carcinogens would immediately turn me off. But if that's not enough, let's check out some stats. According to Truth, which is a worldwide campaign against tobacco, AIDS, alcohol, car accidents, murders, suicides, drugs, fires, all combined, do not nearly equal the amount of tobacco-related deaths we see each year in America and across the world. Every hour, at least 50 people die because of tobacco-related causes. One person every 6.5 seconds has died just because of a smoke-related illness, which means that just in the time I've been speaking to you, a lot of people have died. 358,000 people in the U.S. currently have lung cancer because of, a smoke, of smoking. 443 Americans die each year, and, and 5.4 million worldwide. My dad became a statistic in 2008. I wish someone would have told my dad all of this so he would not have been a part of the problem but a simple solution. Several organizations like the World Lung Foundation, Truth, and the American Cancer Society are all working together to help end smoking. While there have been some changes, there's still much work that needs to be done. Smoking has been eliminated from bars, restaurants, most public places, and even college campuses, which includes our own. And since 2008, more than 48 million Americans have successfully quit smoking. Many others are doing something to help end this travesty. Why aren't you? In today's America, life is the biggest argument. When does it end? When does it begin? But we focus our attention so much on life that isn't even living and breathing and walking on this planet yet that we forget about those who are. Smoking is an addiction. It is an addiction that has killed so many mommies, daddies, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, grandmothers, and grandfathers. I had to bury my father because no one was there to tell him of all of this. You have been informed. You know the statistics. And you could be the voice that someone needs to hear. Thank you. Thank you.